my fifth week of options trading on Webull mobile platform. I bought an Apple put to start my day and new month. My Apple put was $217 at the strike price of $162.50. Apple was going crazy wild when I initially set my take profit at $260 and stop loss at $225 but Apple ran back up above the strike price. I lost my first opportunity of setting up my take profit stop loss, so I had to be patient and wait for it to go back down. It looks like Apple was on the verge of going back up, so I set up my take profit stop loss for security. Eventually, my stop loss was triggered at $222 and I made a $5 profit. I was happy to break even or made a little profit. I was bleeding red as Apple made a major comeback. Apple dramatically dip afterwards so if I exude more patience, I could have made more money. Learn to be extra patient, so you can make more money. I get an alert to place a put on JD. I got a put on JD for $160 for August 19th and at the strike price of $55. I held onto two option contracts overnight. The first one with JD. Based on theta or time decay if I held this contract overnight, I'll lose $7.50 and for Apple theta is negative 0.2666 times it by 100 and you get $26.66. It looks like I'm gonna lose an extra $26 for this option contract. I hope to make up the difference tomorrow. Until Tuesday. How to get approved for options trading on Webull? Open up your Webull app to get started on check out my referral link in the description. First, click on menu on your bottom right. Next, click on settings in the center of your screen. Then select under manage brokerage account. Make sure you're trading option level 2 like mine. Here's what you get with level access for options trading. I'm gonna hit reapply but yours might say apply. Click on I have read the instructions and continue. You can go over the questions and copy paste my results as yours. Make sure to choose level 2 as your option trading level. Finally click on continue and OK. You should hear from Webull within 1 or 2 business day through email about your options trading results. Hopefully, you get approved and start trading options like me. Best of luck! holding on to two contracts from the day before. Here are my contracts from yesterday. Let's take a look at Apple. Apple is hanging around 160.20ish and JD is around 58.30ish. Later, it looks like Apple made a dramatic comeback as the price soared above 162 and I'm down $41.50 but the longer I held on Apple, it's hanged below 160.50ish. JD climb up above my put price of 55. It's now around $1.59.30ish. It looks like another red day for me as I will continue to hold on these contracts. Each passing day, Theta will eat my profits. I will start tomorrow minus 7.50 for JD and minus 26.66 for Apple, or a total loss of $34.16. On to Wednesday, a quick look at charge point in American Airline. Based on the 5 minutes charts, it looks as if charge point will keep running up. 13 green EMA is above the yellow 48 EMA but below the red 200 EMA. The MACD green line is above the yellow line. The stochastic RSI is overbought though. The strike price of $15 would cost me $51. Although, I can afford this contract, didn't buy this call contract. A great look from the charts and indicators. Next on American Airlines. From the charts, it looks as if American Airline will keep running up. The 13 green EMA is above the yellow 48 EMA and red 200 EMA. The MACD green line is above the yellow line. The stochastic RSI is overbought though, so I didn't buy this call contract. Study your chart as they give you clues. Based on the charts, I see that NEO had a red big drop. MACD and Stochastic RSI are both pointing downward. This is a good sign to buy a put. I scoop up a put at the strike price of $20 for a contract that cost me $46. Later, I set a take profit stop loss as NEO to continue to drop beneath my strike price of 
I modify my take profit stop loss as it inches higher. Eventually, my stop loss was triggered and this option contract for NEO was sold for $74. I made a profit of $28 or 60.87% on this deal. What a great start to my day! A major comeback by Apple. Luckily, I held on to Apple the past two days as it made a major comeback above my strike price of $162.50. I'm still in the red but I get a sigh of relief that I wasn't deeper in the hole. I was confident in Apple as it soared above my strike price. I am happy to set up a take profit stop loss. It quickly hit my stop loss of 200. I was extremely happy to come back from this and made $10 profit even though Apple ran up all day surpassed $166-ish. Apple is a monster. I took over and went against Spy. I've been tracking Spy all morning and it's counterintuitive to buy a call here when the charts and indicators are pointing down. I bought a call option at the strike price of $411 for two contracts at $103 each, or $206 total. SPY quickly rebound and jump above my strike price of $411. I initially set up my take profit stop loss as a safety net. SPY kept on running up, so I modified my stop loss take profit order. Ultimately, SPY hit my stop price at $160 and I was handsomely rewarded $114 for my two contracts. That's 55.34% from this deal. This is my first of many $100 day. Thank you SPY! A look at my balance. It looks as if I have $403.21 in my cash balance. My buying power is $117.23. Webull shows that I made $229.09 up 90.33%. Here are all my buy and sale orders for today. This is my best day yet as every orders, I made a profit. From Neo. I bought NEO for $46 and sold it for $74, a $28 profit. Next, I bought SPY at $103 each for two contracts that I sold at $160, making $114 from the deal. Lastly I bought an Apple call for $190 and sold it at $200. I was $10 richer and above from breaking even. In total, I made $152 for today. A milestone as I made it above $100. What a great options trading day! SPY gave me money all day. I started my morning with SPY calling me. I bought a call on SPY at the strike price of $413 for this contract that cost me $231. I set up my take profit stop order. SPY ran up surpass $414 so I modify my stop limit. Eventually, I sold this contract for $300. I profited $69 or 29.87% to start my day. I bought another call on SPY for $220 and sold it for $234, made a quick $14. And the last call, I bought at $185 and sold it for $234, making $49. Altogether SPY gave me $132. What a great friend! I am red from these alerts. I got an alert to get a put option on SoFi at the strike price of $8. I bought 5 contracts at $22 each, totaling $108. I checked on SoFi periodically and I noticed that it was going up. I was hoping it would go back down so I could sell this at break even and get my money out of this play. It didn't as it kept running up. Ultimately, I sold these off at $50 and lost $60 on this deal. That's a 55% discount. I'm not doing too great from these alerts but I will keep trying. Best to follow your own guidance and instinct. It's a red day but I place call options. My first call was on SPY at the strike of $412 for two contracts at total $250. Later, I got Apple for two contracts that cost me $80 a piece. These are the two call options that I'm excited about having for today. They both turn green and it is in the profit taking zone. First, I set up a take profit stop loss for SPY for $3 and $135. As I was scrolling around, SPY took a huge hit and we bull sold off my contract at my stop price of $1.55. I quickly made $50 from this deal or 19.23%. 
What a great start for today! I got more calls on Apple. As Apple dipped underneath my strike price of $165, I bought 3 more call contracts. They average to be $63 each or $189 in total. It looks like Apple went above my strike price of $165, so I set up a take profit stop loss. My take profit was $2 and my modified stop order was $1.10. Ultimately, we both sold my 5 contracts for $2.09. I made $195 or 55.71% from this deal. With what I made with SPY, it is well over $200 for today. $245 to be exact, hoping that a firm tanked. I bought 3 contracts of a firm for $46 each or a total of $138. Initially, from the charts and my indicators, it looks like a firm was going down. I let it ran beneath my strike price of $33 but didn't set up my take profit stop loss. This is something that I regret about this play. I was hoping that a firm ran back down, but it quickly ran the opposite direction aside of my strike price of $33 so I wanted to get out of this deal. I fidgeted with the limit order but I wanted to get out of this deal as fast that I can. Therefore, I lost a few more bucks trying to correct my mistakes. Anyhow, I sold out of a firm when I lost 43.75%, or a total of $63. I got back $81, better than nothing. Another jab at SPY but I end up being KO. SPY has been good to me the last few days. I bought 3 more contracts at $84 each for the strike price of $414. This cost me $252. I've been tracking SPY and it took a major fall. 410 ish, now I'm happy to be breaking even. I was bleeding red from all my plays. I took a massive blunder with SPY and honestly don't know if I can recover this time. I was happy to see SPY came crawling back above 413 ish. I set up a take profit stop limit order. I was elated to recoup my losses at the stop limit price of $36. I lost $48 for each contract or a total of $144 from this deal or 57.14%. My net profit for today was $46. Better luck next week. Enjoying an apple at the end of my day. I had exhausted my buying power for today and had enough to buy one call of apple. I paid $30 for this contract that'll reach the strike price of $165. I set up a take profit stop limit when I am in the green zone. I got to learn to do this more often in case the markets flip. Finally, it hit my stop limit price of $38. I made a quick $8 from this deal. I should stopped earlier when I was up $300 to $400 but I was pushing myself and lost. It's all about the comeback. A look at my cash balance with tips and strategies. My cash balance is now $475.82 up from $412.83 of last week. Up $62.99 or 15.26% from a week ago. I feel well I'm getting done. better as one time I was above $700. I gained knowledge and I want to share with you. Tip number one sell to close at market price when you want to get out of play quickly. Plus the market moves so fast that you won't have time for limit, stop, or stop limit order. Plus, forget about take profit stop limit order. Tip number 2 Get contracts that expire sooner, if you don't have the patience to wait. Tip number 3 Try to end your day with a win. I get greedy because I still have buying power. I end red after buying these new contracts. Quit while you're ahead. Why I'm holding on to JD. Here's a quick look at JD. I bought this contract at $160 from an alert. It's not expired until August 19th. That's why I'm still holding on to this contract but I wished I sold this earlier. I'm hoping and praying that JD goes beneath my strike price of $55. If it does, then I'll be up. Next time, I'm getting an earlier contract so I can make more money that same day versus a long tortuous wait to win or lose. Buy an earlier contract if you don't like waiting. Be smart, trade with the chart, this will grow a big heart, that'll allows you giving to the world to start.